the PGA Tour for a long time has kind of had a monopoly on the best players because they're the richest tour. They have so much, they, are, they have so many sponsors and such huge uh, crowds uh, that they attract usually all the best players to come and play uh, in America. And they're definitely feeling the heat for the first time. But I think it's all driven by, by market forces. I think a team concept and, and a Grand Prix style league uh, has a certain entertainment value. And I think that's what, uh, you know, the Saudis see. And it could be a disruptor, but it could be good for the game. Well, uh, sport uh, should be used to improve a country's image. There's no doubt about it. If uh, this kind of investment in sports also is accompanied by uh, changes, you know, culturally within Saudi Arabia, their laws, you know, uh, in terms of gender equality and, and the kind of punishment they, they give out for uh, various crimes. If they can do both things parallelly, then I think it's, you know, it's, it's very positive. And uh, nothing wrong with using sport to improve your country's image. But you have to do, uh, at the same time, you have to draw attention to the changes you're making internally uh, to improve the lives of your people. I think um, money uh, plays uh, a huge role. Uh, the PGA Tour and European Tour are feeling a little, uh, you know, a little pinch or I would say a little bit of heat. But uh, I think it's it's good for the game. Like Rishi said, it's very good for the game. Uh, Asian Tour had no other option but to sign up with them because uh, they've been struggling for the last uh, eight, ten years. Uh, you know, with, with the money not being able to grow, uh, so, I think Saudi money coming in is great for Asian players, that's for sure. Uh, as far as politics is concerned, I mean, I don't care of whether the PGA Tour controls the game or the European Tour controls the game. Uh, the game should grow and the game should be controlled by players. And the players competing anywhere else in the world, I don't think it's, it's anything bad. I feel that it's very unfair for uh, America to pinpoint on Saudi Arabia. I'm not for Saudi Arabia's uh, human rights record, but I think sports goes above all of that. So let's let's just forget about human rights record. And if they're putting money into sport, like Rishi said, it's a great way to change the way uh, people think about uh, that country and uh, their image. So yeah. I'm I'm all for it. I think uh, European Tour has played all over Asia. Uh, let's say that uh, the, it's called the DP World Tour now. I mean, Dubai ports, last time I checked, Dubai was part of Asia. Uh, and, you know, they, they call their biggest tournaments of the European Tour in Dubai. Uh, so, I mean, they've done it. They've done it in Malaysia. They've done, they've had European Tour events all over the place. But they haven't done nothing to help the Asian Tour grow. So, they never realized it was their responsibility. If they came, they played and they went away. They felt that was a responsibility that they had done in upping the game. They never brought in money. They never brought in sponsors. They never. So they just came and, and took from the Asian tour and they didn't give anything in return. So if, if Saudis are doing it, like Gagan said, we should welcome them. It's a great thing. We should shake hands with them and, te and tell them, OK, let's let's do it in a better way. Um, and why not bring them bring them into the world golfing community? Looking at what's been happening uh, on the Asian tour, uh, on the Asian tour, you know, we guys are we guys are feeling very happy. And from the past two years, Asian tours, uh, as Amandeep said, you know, we guys were struggling big time. And I've been a European tour member since uh, 2011. And uh, you know, European tour came to Asian soil. They did so many co sanctions. Nobody, nobody pinpointed them. And suddenly, uh, a Saudi event, which is a five million dollar event. You know, a big tournament happening on the Asian soil, and you know, suddenly you you hear PJ Tour is against them and European Tour is, is against them. I think that is definitely not acceptable because players are are willing to willing to step up and 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 support this cause. Uh, I think it's going to be a great future for the Asian players, and uh, you know, we will definitely see the next set of youngsters coming out of Asia and probably you know moving to the moving to the next ladder of sports. We have to we have to think globally. Uh, you know, uh, these guys came forward and I have, I've I've been a part of this tournament the last three years. And uh, trust me, these guys are spending 10 billion US dollars on building new golf courses. They are they are ready to ready to get the ladies LPGA tour event over there. They are ready to uh, to start their own uh, international amateur league. They are ready to host 
MENA tour golf events. So they are they are they are ready to step up and support golf in a big way, and I think that is what we need to focus on, because in the past, you know, um, uh, Asian tour and uh, European tour and PGA tour entered China, but we never got that much of success. We only had one uh, PGA tour event, which was WGC HSBC in China, and China is one of the biggest economies in the world. Though we could have done better. But now, when we've got a chance to enter in such a powerful nation like Saudi, I think we should we should we should just stop using this uh, you know politics and banning players and everything. We just need to shake hands. We need to welcome the Saudis on board, and we should be thankful. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it is great for the players. It it is great for the future.